Hello. Yep, I'm back. And yeah, it's a little sooner than I anticipated. Let's start with the... The spinner gave me the C-Color Unisex 5, which is inspired by Dominique's Co Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade. So, we're looking kind of like that. Kind of like that. Anyway, the reason I'm back and I put some swatches on my arm, so I'm hoping to see if I can get the camera to cooperate so I can turn it around and get it to look at the swatches. I'm going to be 64 come September. Now, I'm in my second to the last class in college. The last class ends about mid-August. So they've set September 1st as the day they will confer my degree. So that puts me just a few days ahead of 64. Now that's going to be interesting too because it's going to completely change my schedule. I will have a lot more time to do stuff. That's going to take some getting used to. But what I discovered with my going another year is that my skin has decided to change. I am so furious. I put on a foundation that I have used repeatedly over the time period that I have been doing this stuff that where I started in August of 18. Okay? I have been using the majority of the time I have been using the same foundations over and over and over and over and over. I didn't really get into doing lots of foundation testing because my skin has got all these pale uncooked chicken tones but it's also got one of the colors from the pale uncooked chicken which is the yellow from the fat. Now granted it's not because my face is fat even though it is and we all know it but I've got yellow undertones in my skin. Trying to find pale foundation that isn't bright pink in some manner is not always easy. So when one of my favorite foundations turned on me and went from being a nice comfortable lays over the 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 primer just fine didn't matter what I put it on with fingers brush sponge it was beautiful and then it wasn't <coughs> oh my god it was cracking it was catching it was piling up in places I was livid because that means I have to start over looking for foundations now I lucked out my favoriteest foundation 
in the whole world is the ELF Foundation Flawless Finish. Yeah. This is my holy grail. And if you read the back of it, it says light ivory, fair with golden undertones. I am such a happy camper with this. But this was not the one that went south on me. But I was skewed enough that the next day I yanked this out and put it on to make sure it still worked. It works with a specification. I tried putting it on with fingers. It caught. It stuck. It tried brush. I've been doing my foundation with brush since I started doing this. It caught. It stuck. I wet my sponge and I said, look out. This is the last chance. It was perfect. Laid down. Perfect. Blurred the pores, didn't settle into anything, I raised the hallelujah chorus. But this is not what I'm used to doing. I, I don't normally use a sponge. I have always been a brush type. And I didn't start really using a sponge until I started doing the videos back in 18. Even though, you know, I used to dance and put on shows and about half of the women in the dance troupe used a sponge, the rest of us were all brush fiends. So, I got anxious and I started looking online for similar stuff. Now I've got this one other elf thing here. This is the serum foundation that they started doing long before the rest of these yahoos came out with serum foundations and then they quit doing it. I think they were just basically straight up ahead of their time. Now this just is called light. It doesn't really have any other designators for a color on this. Well, excuse me, fair light. And it's got nifty stuff in it. It's a 20, 25 sunscreen and it's got goji berries and all kinds of nifty stuff. And it's just, it's beautiful. The, the, um, the sunscreen is zinc oxide. It's thin. I usually put it on either with my fingers or this one goes on with a damp sponge mainly because it's so thin. It will run away from you. And yeah, it looks way darker than it should. But when you put it on, it disappears. This is thin. Anytime I go to some place, like I got the two bottles that I currently have when I did my one trip to Marshall's, which is an hour away, <laughs> but I bought every bottle they had. And then I went on 
Amazon. And I said to myself, self, it's time to start looking for some stuff to try. Now, I have tried the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Fit Me before. I really have. I've tried it. This one is 120 Classic Ivory. Now, believe it or not, the 120 Classic Ivory, which is a one, but it's a little bit darker than I remember. This is more like my summer color when I get some sunlight on myself. And I've got that on right now. Now when I first put this on, it looked beautiful, but when they say dewy, they mean dewy. It stayed wet looking and it the, the little lines kept creasing over and over and over and over and over. To the point where I finally just said pahoo and powdered it down. It didn't take a lot of powder, but it was so shiny and wet looking. And like I say, it kept crawling in. I've got fine lines here and here and alongside my nose. And God help me, I'm starting to get crow's feet right here on both sides and I was like not having it. Plus I've got my 11s. So, well, I've got a 1. My, the, the, I only usually get the 11s if I scrunch my face up a lot. But it refused to set down. And I was like, you won't bloody set down or we're going to have words. So, I powdered its little butt and then finished up. And it looks good. I think it looks good. I can't wait till I get the new camera so I can zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. One of the, the swatches that I did is the Fit Me. And then I picked up something, and the thing was, the reason I got it is because when I found it on Amazon, this particular bottle is being um, phased out, and they're, they're changing labeling and stuff. So I got that fit me for like three dollars and change. Now normally one of the things I love about my elf is it's six bucks which is a lovely price. And then I'm putzling through and I find something that's a old standby in a manner of speaking. But I haven't used this stuff in a long time because of that little issue there was as to whether or not it uh, really was, you know, not tested on animals and such. But at three dollars, I was gonna, I know it doesn't tear my skin up. So I figured I would give Wet n Wild a brief chance. And I got some of the Tinted Hydrator. Again, like I said, it was a three book purchase. Tinted Skin Veil. Hyaluronic Acid and Squalane. Lightweight, 
non-greasy finish, sheer to medium coverage. And this one's just called Fair, and I'm like, yeah, Fair. <laughs> no kidding. Now, one of the ones that I didn't test today in this little swatch patch thing that I did is the e.l.f. CC cream. Now this is in Fair 120 Neutral. The e.l.f. Camo CC cream. And I have a, a complicated relationship. This stuff is thick. The ick. One of my favorite things to do is if I'm trying to put it on with a brush, I pump some out on one of my little palettes and then I take the the extra loose um, serum foundation and pump a little bit of that on the palette and mix them together. It makes this thing flow better. Otherwise, I use my fingers to get it warmed up enough to get it to smear on. It's color correcting, full coverage, nat natural finish, collagen, peptides, niacinamide, Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. There's a lot of stuff in this. I like it. I like it a lot. It's got zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, and something I can't pronounce. But that's the active ingredients, the sunscreen stuff. And like I said, I really like it. I, I like the camo line. My favorite consquisquee is camo. Yeah, consquisquee. I've been listening to Nady again. Oh well. Anyway, if I can show you my arm, I will show you the results I got from all this stuff. But the hunt is on. If you know of any mature skin friendly, seriously budget friendly foundations that have a color that works with yellow undertones, you know, that, that warm skin thing. I am not pink. I don't care what anybody says. I am not pink. Um, I appreciate some info if you have any. I mean, I don't go chasing them, and please don't bother telling me about anything that is even close to what somebody, anybody, might start calling premium. I'm not in that kind of budget bracket. Just not. Anyway. I'm going to stop yakking and see if I can get this arm swatch thing put on the camera. We'll see. We'll hope. We'll give it a shot. I will try to edit out anything that's like dizzy making while I'm at it. And we will see how all this goes. I will talk to you later. Stay out of trouble. I obviously have no bail money if I can't afford 
some fancier stuff for my um, foundation. Just ask me. Yeah. Just ask me. Here we go. Going for a ride. And let's see. There's a lousy picture. All right. That's where the skin tint is. This one is the Fit Me. This one is the Elf. And then over here is the Serum Elf. Yes. All you get to see is, is creasy skin on a pudgy arm. I don't know what the colors are going to look like until I get to editing. So, there, yeah, got my camera back on its little happy stand. Get it pointed back the way it's supposed to go. And there we have it. Like I said, if you have the first clue about anything that's going to fit my budget, talk about it. There's plenty of room in the suggestions and commentary area.